Hey everyone, so today I wanted to do a Ariana Grande inspired makeup tutorial. Um, she recently dropped, I guess, a new song called Side to Side featuring Nicki Minaj and I, oh my god, I love the song. I love Ariana Grande. I love Nicki Minaj. It's just amazing and she is just freaking gorgeous. Like, I remember watching Victorious and thinking that she was like the prettiest thing ever and she had that bright red hair and I had bright red hair also, so I was just like, me and you are like meant to be. I don't know, I just think she's so gorgeous and her makeup in this video is so pretty. It's hard to find a good picture, um, but she has like, I don't even know if you can see it. She has like a purplish, pinkish, smoky eye going on with just obviously false lashes like not in a bad way but like she's definitely wearing falsies and a nude lip and just perfect skin and bold brows and the hair she always rocks this hairstyle and it looks so good on her i think this hairstyle like more looks better on people with dimension in their hair like the blondish brownish or like mixture of the two because i just have straight dark hair and i feel like it looks kind of weird and gothic on me but I still like it I still think it's cute and I tried but if you actually like this hairstyle and have trouble creating it I have struggled with it a lot especially because I wear hair extensions so if you want to see how I do it with hair extensions then I can show you that but just let me know because I'm not going to create a video that no one cares about if you want to see that just let me know otherwise just just get on to the makeup all right, so to start off this Ariana Grande look, I am first taking Wisteria from Makeup Geek. It's like a very light purple, and I'm also applying some tape on the outer edges of my eye just because even though she doesn't have a sharp wing liner, her eyeshadow is still pretty sharp, so the tape will definitely help with this. I'm taking a MAC 224, my all-time favorite blending brush, and just applying probably two to three layers of the Wisteria onto the upper crease area because... I mean, it's a really good transition shade. What else can I say? Next, I'm taking the NYX White Eyeshadow Base and a synthetic brush. This is also from MAC. I cannot remember exactly what the name of this brush is, but it is amazing. I use it almost every day. It's awesome for packing on creams or shadows or pretty much anything if you want like something to be actually like packed on and intense. And I'm just carving out my eyelids almost like it would be a cut crease even though we're not really going for a cut crease today. It's just going to make this hot pink eyeshadow from NYX Pop. It's one of their primal eyeshadows. And I'm just using the same brush. I just flipped it over and I'm just packing that pink color all over the lid. These primal eyeshadows from uh, NYX are already super pigmented. I've used them many times. You probably don't even need, an, need a white eyeshadow base. but. It just makes it even more intense, not to mention it will make the color hold on all day long. So next I'm taking Deep Damson, I believe is what it's called, it's from MAC. It's like a very purpley, very dark purpley color, so I'm just applying that on the outer edges of my eye right where that tape is and not taking it above my crease. And then going in with more wisteria and applying that literally everywhere. All over my lid, all over where I put that deep purple color, all over my crease, just everywhere. Because it's going to blend everything out and give it that like purpley, pinky type look. So real quickly I'll just go back in with some more of that hot pink shade and just reapply it just so it still kind of sticks out but then I'll just go back in with that blending brush and blend it out again just doing the exact same thing we did before. So in the picture I believe she has some kind of shimmer on her brow bone so I'm taking nylon from MAC and just applying that on the brow bone area. So next I took the NYC liquid liner and just applied a thin as thin as I could. I mean, I'm not really good at doing thin liner. So I just did as thin as I could liner just on the lash line. I didn't do a wing or anything like that because in the pictures it looks like she just has lashes on and then some liner to like hold or to, to cover the lash band, but it doesn't actually look like she's wearing like eyeliner. So that's what I was going for today. And then after I did that, I applied some 
Eyler 126 lashes. They are amazing, probably my all-time favorite dramatic lashes. And next, moving on to the face, I did prime my face with the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer because my pores were looking ridiculous today. And because her face is so flawless, I went in with my It Cosmetics CC Cream foundation just because I feel like this is the most flawless foundation that I own. Like no matter what my skin looks like, which it looked terrible today, it just covers everything and makes my skin look flawless. So that's definitely what I wanted to use today for this look. And then I used the Makeup Forever HD Concealer underneath my eyes and anywhere I wanted to highlight and just blended that out like I normally would. Like I said, her base was so flawless. Like I just wanted to use everything that was full coverage and flawless and made your face pretty much look photoshopped. So that's what I'm doing today. To set my under eyes and anywhere that I put that concealer, I'm using my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I didn't really bake or anything like that. I just packed it on with a brush and then just kind of baked, uh, brushed it away. And then I went in with the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in medium all over my face, just a very light layer. So the bronzer and blush and highlight go on much more smoothly. And because her face looks so bronzed and she just always looks bronzed and healthy and glowy and beautiful, I went in with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer first and then I went in with the Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer. It's like the shimmery one, but it's not like sparkly or you know anything like that. It just gives your face the most healthy, natural, like bronzy glow. I just love it and I just feel like that's what her face looked like. So I was just trying to match what she was wearing. And then I wasn't even going to put blush on just because it looks like she's not wearing any at all, but it could just be the picture. So I went in with just a really nude blush and then went in with a blending brush to blend it out. So it almost looks like I didn't even put anything on, but my cheeks still have just a tiny bit of color. And again, it was really hard to tell in the pictures if she had highlight on or anything, but I went in with the Mary Luminizer by the Balm because even if she isn't wearing highlight, I, I just always have to. Like I cannot go a day without wearing highlight. And I also applied that on my inner corners just because it looked like she had a little shimmer in there as well. For the lower lash line, I took that wisteria color and applied that mainly on the outer half. And I swear to God, I got so much eyeshadow in my eye this day. It was ridiculous. You'll see the faces. The faces, look at, I'm struggling. I'm struggling so hard. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I also took that hot pink shade and just applied it right on top of the wisteria color. I didn't really bring it into the inner corner because it kind of looked like her inner corners were bare except for the highlight shade. And it didn't really look like she had harsh eyeliner on the lower lash line. So I just went in with my nude eyeliner from NARS and applied some mascara. Not too much mascara on the lower lash line just because I feel like it didn't really look like she had that much on. I went in with this NYX lip liner. It's just a pink color. I can't exactly remember what it's called, but I will, of course, write it down below if you actually care. And then I went in with this Tres, Tres Leches, Tres Leches uh, lip gloss from NYX, but it was just too pink. I felt like her lips were more nude. So I took this Maybelline lipstick, which is the most nude lipstick you can find around here, and just apply that on top to give myself a very nude lip and that completes this look i hope you guys enjoyed watching it i think it turned out pretty well it's pretty close to hers it's hard to tell sometimes but i think it turned out pretty good so i hope you guys enjoyed watching it and let me know what else you want to see bye